Yeah, so the idea is he, he knows nothing. He knows, he has no idea that he's even gonna be dropped off there. So we're actually gonna go, yeah, so this is. That's so crazy. <laughs> You're most likely living inside of a bubble and you don't even realize it. We spend so much time thinking and doing the same things because it's safe and comfortable. Coming to bed, honey? Yes, dear. But by using connection, we're able to meet new people, have new adventures, and experience new ways of thinking. So last week, I reached out to a subscriber whose family lives in a super remote village in Mexico, and I arranged to have my good friend Liam, who you've seen in some of the past videos, to stay with them for two days. The catch is, though, he has no idea that this is happening. Liam, you ready for uh, your day tomorrow? I don't know. Am I? I'm not sure if he's gonna enjoy this. But he's not, it's, it's good, it's just like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything. You're gonna leave me at that? <laughs> You see, Liam doesn't like surprises. He likes things planned out as much as possible, which must have been tough because we didn't give him much information. We did say that there was gonna be a beach, which was a lie, and I think he was starting to catch on. Is that my ranch hand for the weekend? <laughs> we are here? Hey. We're just stopping here for a drink. Liam, what's going through your mind right now? Hola. Abby? Si. Si? Abby. Brad, mucho gusto. mucho gusto. So Liam, yeah. you're gonna be uh, living here for the next two days. Uh -huh. In this store? Uh, no, the house is, is here oh, as well. Okay. Uh, you don't speak any Spanish. Correct. And they don't speak any English. Perfect. <laughs> Good. a bucket to flush the toilet because there's no flush. <laughs> After getting Liam familiar with his new living conditions, it was time to introduce him to the rest of the family. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Me llamo Brad. Mucho gusto. Gracias. Hello, Brad. Español. ¿Qué gusta? ¿Qué gusta? ¿Qué gusta? ¿Qué gusta? Do <laughs> you see Liam over there? He's just avoiding talking in my ear talking. Are you over here to avoid speaking Spanish? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> They're still speaking it to me. But I'm not saying anything back, am I? Yo le estaba marcando. Le dije, le deja a mi abuelo. Oh, yeah, le digo. Liam, how much of that did you understand? How much of that did you understand? <laughs> 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 oh man, it's gonna be an interesting two days for Liam. We'll come pick you up on uh, Friday morning. <laughs> Wednesday. Where are you guys going? Back home? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be so cool. I'm actually really jealous that oh, we're not here. I, I would, I'm like Liam, you can go home. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you wanna stay? Yes, I do wanna stay. I wanna learn about culture. I wanna learn how to cook. I wanna be in the family in this, in this environment. I can be an incredible experience. Now I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to be here. Okay, new plan. You guys stay, I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> so even though Brooke decided to stay, the task remained the same. Throw yourself into the deep end of a culture and see what happens. Bye, you two. Adios. Adios. And just like that, two gringos who spoke zero Spanish were alone with a family that spoke zero English. And without a damn beach in sight. But before I had a chance to figure out an escape plan, we were whisked away. Vamos. Okay. We're, we're going. Where are we going? Bro, you told me. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going? Mm. All right. <laughs> we were thrown into their crazy world right away after trying some weird sludgy soup. Zip. I don't know what this is. Roasted grasshoppers. <laughs> An ice cream with hot sauce on it. Do you like it? No. No? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even sure the kid liked it. It looked like he was fighting for his life with every bite. Extraño? Really weird. The kid's name, we found out later, is Johan. He's super energetic, loves the Avengers, and has one single song on a USB stick that he knows word for word. See you, see you, see you, Evita. 
Yay. He was super fun to have around, and once he kind of started to learn that we couldn't speak Spanish, he tried helping us out in other ways. ¿Quieres que le sirve más agua? Agua. Sí, quieres que... ¿Want some? But honestly, speaking different languages turned out not to be such a big deal. Most things could be figured out by a simple hand gesture or literally just following along with Abby, like learning how to bake pastries to sell in their shop or helping make pizzas for dinner, even though they topped it with pineapples and f***ing bugs. Not sure which one is worse. ¿Cómo se va? We could also use things like Google Translate to help have some more in-depth conversations and learn how to succeed as a Mexican husband, apparently. I'll show you the wedding in Oaxaca. Oh, okay, this is what a wedding looks like, okay. Wow. So Liam, what was, what was the first tip? You need to learn how to herd a pair of ox. To get married? To get, yeah, to be a suitable mate. A suitable <laughs> male in a relationship. And then you have to learn how to make a good tortilla. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. And then we're set. Yeah, perfect. Looks, uh, looks easy. It was weird, they really didn't have much. I mean, they all shared one bedroom in a house that was basically half bricks and half tin, which honestly I just think would be miserable. But yet somehow they were still so joyful and welcoming and warm, unlike the shower. This is the shower situation. Definitely, definitely had nightmares about a place like this. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's just cold, but it works, and I'm clean. <laughs> See you in the morning. Day two is where my mind really started to change about the place. Ah! <laughs> they wanted to scare you. How'd you do? Well, it's not going anywhere, so not great. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> all at once. All at once? All at once, all at once, all at once. Like faster. Faster than that? There you go. Oh, shit. See, it worked. There, there's a little bit left, but. That was crazy, it's all. <laughs> Second time is even better. Like I think most people in North America, I'm used to trying to optimize every part of my day. So it felt weird spending so much time on this simple task. But it was like that for everything. I mean, after going to the market in the morning again to get fresh ingredients, we brought it back to make hot chocolate and homemade tortillas and spicy salsa. Now, don't get me wrong, tasty as hell. But this privileged city boy couldn't understand why they were spending all their time making food from scratch every day when they were still using a bucket to shower. It just seemed like their priorities were all messed up. But then they did something that really shocked me. They started to sing. How are they okay living in these conditions? Why weren't they focused on getting to a better position in life? Why were they happy? He puzzled and puzzled until his puzzler was sore, and the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe it was my priorities that were messed up because here they were, not worried about trying to improve every aspect of their lives, but instead just enjoying what they already had. Maybe it's possible to be happy without having a big flat screen TV or any fancy decor. Maybe in the grand scheme of things, less is actually more. <laughs> and from there, I really started to enjoy myself. Ben. Yeah. He's also a good husband. Oh, okay. Hey. It's like simple living. You make food for your family, you do the chores, you go to the market, and you sell some at your shop, and that is like your whole life. It's just that every day it's simple, but it's so profoundly beautiful. And fuck, it makes me happy. <laughs> I have a new filmmaker. You're doing a pretty good job. Ben, Ben. Spider Man. 
that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> With only a few hours left in our final day, we headed somewhere that made me rethink things a little bit. Vamos! Vamos. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> it's a beautiful song. <laughs> When we first got to the family's bean farm, we were greeted with fresh orange slices, a bucket to sit on, and a lot of smiles. We sat and chatted for a bit, and they even gave us some handmade bracelets. But after everyone headed back to work, we were quickly reminded about some of the realities of living in a small village like this one. Parents don't read and the children learn what parents do. In the villages, they marry very young. Quince. Fifteen. Two hundred pesos a day for what? Working the farm as hard as you can and everything. Two hundred pesos is about twelve Canadian dollars, and where I'm from, minimum wage is fifteen dollars, meaning you can make more in one hour of work at McDonald's than you can in twelve hours of work here. Imagine being this in the sun. Like I'm hot right now. Yep. They're in, They're full in hoodies. pants, hoodies, and work hard. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Bye bye. What do we say that is? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars a day. Because they have to. But they, 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 he's they sacrificing can't. his education yeah. because they can't live. Like they need that twelve dollars a day. It's tough for me to think that a lot of these kids literally had to quit school to help make money for the family. Like they haven't gotten the chance to try pursuing a passion or exploring other options. You know, it's fairly easy for me to afford a plane ticket to come experience their culture, but it would be a lot harder for them to come experience mine. Like, it's such a simplistic, happy life. Like, mm. they worry about food, yeah. the kids, and the yeah. shop, and yeah. the, like, what to sell at the shop, and the food. And we're able to be a part of it, even though they have, like, nothing, we can just be a part of it. But when I say nothing, they have everything that the Western society doesn't have. I'm curious, though, like, how much that is just because they don't have the experience of, like, other shit, you know? When their whole day is revolved around food um, and, like, preparing food. Like, me looking at that now, I'd be like, no, that would, like, I would hate that. But if you were the, like, father figure in the situation, you'd have to grow it. You'd have to do everything just to survive, mm -hmm. to be able to feed your family. Therefore, mm -hmm. you'd get behind yeah, it. Yeah, well, but then, so then I'm just wondering, it's like, them, like, they're so happy with that, but it's like, are they happy with that because that's all they know? Like, ignorance is bliss, I guess, is the question. Is it ignorance is bliss, or is it like, that's just how it should be? Yeah. Who knows? I didn't really know how to feel after leaving the farm. I wanted there to be a clear answer about how to live the best life so that I could share it with others and take it into my own. But I left more confused than I was before. Because on one hand, a lot of them are kind of stuck there. They don't have the freedom to do anything else. <laughs> but on the other hand, they were so content. They seemed so present with everything they were doing because there was nothing else to worry about. Life felt simple. I think it really comes down to the question of choice. Do more options actually make us happier? Would Johan's one single song mean as much if he had access to millions of others? We are back at the house. I don't even know if they're here right now. Are they here? Hola! Hola. Como esta? How was it, Liam? It was good. Yeah? It was fun. Hola! Como esta? He's a lot more warm, uh, warm me now. Oh, yeah. with, with best, best pals. Yeah? Best buddies. You guys are your best buds? Yeah. Mejor amigo? Si. Si? Getting thrown into this completely new culture made me think about my own life in ways I never would have otherwise. Like how much I value functioning toilets. Stay, he's saying ah. stay, stay. We'll be back. We will be back. Van a regresar. Cuando? Cuando? Pronto, pronto. Muy pronto. Mañana? 
Mañana. Gracias por la experiencia. 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 Gracias. It's crazy. We learned a ton from this family, developed actual relationships, and were invited back anytime we wanted. All without even speaking the same language. Adios. Oh, is he sad? Oh, he's yeah. crying. Oh, he's crying, Liam, that you're leaving. You miss him. If you're still watching at this point, we really appreciate you staying to the end. I just wanted to let you guys know that we've started a Patreon. And the reason for that is my dream has always been to build this channel with a group of like-minded friends. But for the most part, I've been doing this channel on my own. And the friends that you have seen in the videos have been helping me out in their spare time solely out of the kindness of their hearts and asking for nothing in return. And I wanna be able to bring some of these people full time onto the team of Discover Connection. Which by the way, we are actually looking to bring an editor onto the team. So with your support, the funds will be going towards producing more videos and hiring people for the team so we can actually start to make videos on more of a consistent basis, which I've been kind of struggling with as you guys know. Also, we've been meeting some really incredible people through these experiences and we wanna use the Patreon as a way that we can start to give back to some of the people that we meet along this journey. So if you wanna support the channel and help us make the most inspiring stories about human connection, the link is in the description. And we'll see you guys next episode.